وايد ناس يسالون على الكونكورت وين راحت وشنو صار لها الكل يعرف طبعا شنو صار تاريخ الكونكورت وين هالحين وين هالشويش توقفت والاشياء هذه لكن مستقبل الطيران شنو مستقبل الطيران ويا شركه بوم اذا تشوفون وراي الطياره هذه هذه طياره سوبر سونيك صناعه شركه بوم هي المستقبل للطيران حاليا مجسم هذا اللي وراي هو مجسم يدخلونه شيء يسمونه الويند تنر يحطون الطياره داخلها ويدرسونها الايرداينامك الديناميك الهوائيه وشنو تاثير الهواء عليها وهل راح تصلح انها فعلا يسوونها مجسم كبير اساس يشتغلون عليه ولا لا فاول مجسم راح يكون هذا راح يشيل بس راكبين لان هذه الطياره اللي هي التست خلوني اوريكم بعض المواصفات اللي فيها اللي شرحت عنها Hi, my name is Emily Jones from Boom Supersonic, and we're exhibiting at the Dubai Air Show for the first time in Boom's history. As you can see here, this is the XB1 demonstrator. Um, it is essentially a prototype for the commercial airliner, and it will fly late next year um, in 2018. This specific model is the wind tunnel model, which means we have done two wind tunnel tests in the last year in Wichita, um, and this is the second one. And essentially a wind tunnel model allows you to see the aerodynamic flow. The chalk that you see is painted on, and then the wind flow is put through it in order for you to see where um, the lift and drag kind of states. Um, if you would imagine how big this aircraft will be next year in real life, it will be as big as this booth in the diagonal, or 68 feet. And for how many passengers is that? Um, so this one is just a demonstrator, so it will only carry two mm -hmm. in the cockpit, and it's to demonstrate supersonic capabilities and flight. Okay. Um, I'm going to take you forward over here, in which you will see the commercial airliner, which is um, the model is over here. All right. So Boom Supersonic essentially is bringing back um, supersonic flight. So a lot of people compare us to the Concorde. However, the key differentiator is essentially that it's affordable. Affordable in the sense that fuel, uh, fuel or Jet A was the most expensive or the cost driver for the Concorde. And we don't have um, afterburners, which were huge uh, cost drivers due to the amount and consumption of Jet A they took. And because of that, as well as carbon composites and engine design, we are able to have an affordable uh, Concorde version or bring back supersonic speeds. Right. So this is the commercial airliner. It holds 55 passengers um, and it will fly, it is set to fly in 2023. Um, and this will go Mach 2.2, which is faster than the Concorde, um, and it has a range of 4,500 nautical miles. 4,500. So, for passengers, how far is that from where to where? So, you could go to London and New York non-stop in 3 hours and 15 minutes. That's nice. Yes. Because we do it now in 8 hours. Of our yeah. <laughs> All right. So, then what kind of fuel does it take? Jet A. Jet it a. takes standard Normal, Jet A. Just like any other aircraft. And you can land it in any kind of airport that can land a 777. And so about 10,000 balance feet, uh, balance runway. Okay, and what about like, because the Concorde, they had a uh, problem like taxiing the aircraft, yes. which consumes a lot of fuel and things like this. Does it have any problems for taxi? No, nope, we don't have we don't have the same kind of problems. Um, you would just take it out to the normal standard air lot, um, normal standard runway, and then you would be able to fly it. Mm -hmm. So the 55 seaters, are they like business class or are they? Yep, this is an all business class aircraft mm -hmm. right now. It's one one. The Concorde was two and two with an out mm -hmm. galleyway, um, and we have one and one, and it's all business class. Okay. Do you think business travelers? Of course, you've done your studies and everything, but in real life, it's a completely different thing. So, will most business travelers will be paying more to fly on this uh, supersonic aircraft, or is it the same? Ticket like on any other jet. So the great thing about this is that it's the same price as what you are currently paying for business class. That's smart. And so right now, if you're a business class travel uh, passenger, you have no competitive advantage. However, if you can get there and save half your trip time, you would probably be willing to even pay more money. Okay. Um, but right now, our costs are at parity with that of business class of a wide body aircraft. Can we know who are the customers that are interested in Boom? Yes, so we have 76 orders that were announced at the Paris Air Show, and the first 10 came from the Virgin Group, mm -hmm. and then the rest will be announced in the, hopefully the upcoming months. All right, all right. But they are global airline partners. All right, and this is 2023? Uh, yes, it will come into service. Okay, that's very nice. What is the future? Uh, the future is supersonic. Of course, of course. Are we going to see like economy, bigger aircrafts? 
Yes, so my background is in Tesla and we see the same model, oh. which is to go from supersonic or to go from a premium class product down to economy to make it affordable for everyone. Oh. So if you ever need pilots, you have my card, you can contact me to fly one of these. Yeah, yeah it will sounds be good. really interesting to do so. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you very much. Thank, yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Let me give you my card. طبعا الشركه هذه بوم شركه امريكيه بحته واوريدي عندهم طلبات كثيره نفس ما ناقشناها. هذه الطياره اللي راح توفر حق الركاب راح يكون فيها 55 راكب كلهم بزنس كلاس اللي كان في الكونكورد قبل كانوا الكراسي اثنين اثنين وشبه ايكونومي وبس كان الكرسي جلد بس هذا اللي كان فيها وكان يسمونه فيرست كلاس او بزنس كلاس اليوم لا اليوم صارت على البوم كرسي واحد وكرسي واحد 55 راكب بس فعلا راح تكون بزنس كلاس نفس ما ذكرت لكم من قبل راح تاخذ الرحله مثلا تكون ثلاث ساعات ثلاث ساعات ونص تقريبا من لندن الى نيويورك فيحتاجون انه وايد راح يكون في ركاب وايد ناس انترستد في الموضوع انا واحد صراحه مهتم في الموضوع ودي اطير سوبر سونيك لان ما طرته من قبل حتى لو اني راكب واذا حصل لي بعد كابتن هم زين